Hello everyone, this is a full TikTok marketing guide for 2024. If you were doing OnlyFans, webcam or porn, this is for you, you will be successful. The methods that I'm going to share allow you to upload content to a Google Drive and rarely upload content directly to a TikTok account. So this is going to be beneficial if you are a girl yourself looking to hire a VA and then do edits for you, or if you're an agency and you want to scale to 30, 40, 50 accounts per model and maximize the amount you get from each piece of recorded content. I'm going to break down everything in detail aside from TikTok lives. I think that's a little too much to share for YouTube, but everything else will be broken down 100% in detail. I won't hide anything because it's not what I'm doing. I'm doing something a little higher. First, we're going to talk about mobile phones. You can do TikTok on an anti-tech browser at scale, but the results are seriously hindered once you put it onto a browser. The two methods that you can scale TikTok are buying cheap iPhones and having a Google Pixel. A Google Pixel allows you to run Graphene. It's an operating system. You can have 32 app icons, which means you can have 32 by five profiles, whatever the math is on that, it's 160 accounts. So you can scale either way. You can either spend four or $500 on a Google Pixel, or you can buy five, six, seven iPhones, depending on what model you're getting. An iPhone 8 or above is what I would personally go for, just because the resolution on the screen, the screen is a lot smaller. So when you have the new iPhones, it's stretched and the quality comes very poor once you start stretching out the resolution, obviously. So your two methods of running this at scale is a Google Pixel with graphene or an iPhone and a cheap iPhone at that. Next, we're gonna talk about account creation. The methods that were shared in Verified Earners were then eventually shared on YouTube, which is fine. But I'm going to share with you the reason why that particular method was working so well. And once you know the reason why, you can better equip yourself to avoid being patched in the long run. Because if you're following a method because that's the way someone told you to do it, you don't understand it fully. And then when it gets patched or when the results start to go down, you don't know what to do. But I am going to share with you the reason why the Safari method was so good. When you go onto the Safari app on your iPhone and you go to create a TikTok account, the reason why we shared this in Verified Earners was because you are force verified. Now let's move to dating apps for a quick example. When you go to a dating app and you verify the account, that increases the trust score with Bumble, Tinder, and the user that's swiping on you. So you've increased your trust score on both sides of the spectrum, and that's the exact same thing with TikTok. When you go onto the TikTok app and you verify the email, because you've gone onto Safari and it force verifies you, to get a code for your email, that is increasing the trust score of the account. Once you are equipped with this information, you can then deduct your own strategies on account creation. So now you know the reason why. It's not a set in stone strategy, it's just you're doing something to get something back, in and out. You can now create accounts any way you like, because you know why you're doing it. You know the reasons why you're doing certain things. So if I go into the TikTok app, which is the way I recommend now that you're equipped with the information, you go into the TikTok app, you create a new account, you create the new account with an aged email. I don't like any other email providers or making your own new emails. I like buying aged emails, and I'll tell you a reason or a method on how you can get that for very cheap and have mutual benefits. You create the account in the app with the email. Then once the account is created, you go to the settings. And when you're setting up in the settings, you can force verify, well not force verify, but you can get the email verified. You can get a code sent to the email and then you put the code into that TikTok account and then that account is verified with the email. You've got the exact same output as you did with the Safari, but you're moving less apps and it's more efficient, it's quicker. So now we verify the account and the trust score is high. How do we warm up the account? The conventional way back in July, 2023, this used to take my VAs maybe five to 10 minutes. It was super efficient and super quick. The conventional way was 
to go onto the home feed, into the search bar, search up girls in your niche, start watching the videos twice because TikTok makes a video go viral if the video has been watched multiple times, if it's been engaged with, if you've liked and comment, if you've shared the video. So we are trying to replicate the content that is going viral. We are a viewer trying to replicate that content going viral. So we're telling TikTok that we really enjoy that content. And when we really enjoy that content, TikTok is gonna take a step back and say, hey, look, this guy really enjoys this particular set of content, we're gonna push it to him. And when that happens, eventually after five or 10 minutes of watching videos twice and watching or liking videos and commenting on them and saving them, you can then go back to your home food, refresh it, and you will be shown OnlyFans girls or whatever niche you're trying to warm up on through the home feed. And it's just going to be OnlyFans check, OnlyFans check, OnlyFans check. Now, if you try this in January 2024, it's going to take you an hour and a half. And even after an hour and a half, it's going to be one OnlyFans check after two to three videos. It's not even going to be fully there. The reason for this, I am not quite too sure. I've tried to break it down logically and ask myself, okay, maybe the algorithm is trying to learn you better and it's hindering the good content being shown to you to see if there's other possibilities of content that you enjoy, or is it just avoiding warming up at all? Maybe they've changed the algorithm and it's actually worse. I personally do not know the reason for this, but it does not matter because the methods we use now are very simple. We create the account after two or three hours, we start posting and we let the TikTok algorithm take over itself. The account creation and the verification is what gives the account a high trust score, not watching videos. Now, over the next few days, I will share this at the end of the video on how we select accounts that are successful versus unsuccessful and then the unsuccessful accounts we get rid of. I will share and talk more about this particular point later in the video. Next, we're going to talk about account layout. There's four things you can change with your account layout. That is going to be your nickname, your bio, your username, and your profile picture. The nickname is something that you can repeat over and over and over. You can have the same nickname on hundreds of TikTok accounts. So I'm not gonna tell you what we do, but use your brain and deduct a suitable nickname for a particular girl that would be really beneficial in conversions. That's number one. Your username, next, should be including the girl's name in every single account. This is to increase SEO, and if someone knows your name, they're gonna find your accounts. It's gonna be much easier to find your accounts. Another reason for having the same name across all the accounts is if you just have a first name, let's say, and someone is into the search bar and they're typing in a name, if you have a lot of accounts that are doing well, your accounts are gonna appear at the top, which is gonna increase SEO and increase traffic to your account, so that's a benefit of that. The way that you can multiply usernames is by having a name of the, of the girl, and then you can just add simple abbreviations of other things like baby, BBY, uh, BBYYY, you get it. You can just keep adding those and you can have a select number of those, maybe 100, 150, and then when you sign a new girl, you just need to change the name of the girl. But you already have these pre-select names that you can use for the username. Obviously, some of them are already gonna be used, that's fine. You're gonna have a list of 100, 150, maybe even 200, depending on how many accounts you are running at scale. Next, we're gonna talk about the bio. Everybody, and their mother has, I have one, or my IG is better, or the link you're looking for is on my IG. That is something that is used a lot. I'm not saying that's a bad idea, because when the guy sees that, he knows exactly what it is, and he's gonna go there in the first place. But what I will say is, you should be looking to make your content more unique. Have a unique call to action because this is just gonna have a split second reaction in his mind and be like, oh, this girl is a little different. Even though she's an only ha blah, blah, blah. even though she's an OnlyFans girl, maybe she's a wifey. Maybe she's the one. She's different. She's different in a little bit of way. So I always encourage you to have a unique call to action. You can use the standard ones, it's no problem, 
but try having a unique call to action. It's going to make all the benefit and there's no negatives to it. So that's everything bar the profile picture. The profile picture, just like content in my mind, is important because if you repost content over and over and you don't edit it, it's going to get flagged and you're going to get the account shadow banned. I think TikTok track profile pictures too, just the same way that they track videos. So I would suggest to you, every single picture that you upload as a profile picture on TikTok, I would suggest that it is unique content. It can be a screenshot because TikTok look at metadata, they don't look at pixels. It can be a screenshot and that will do the job. And that is account layout. Now what I will say is when you reach a thousand followers, you can add a link and that could be any website link. It can be your Instagram, it can be your Twitter, it can be a double link tree method, it can be a cloak and link. There's many options for this. I'm not gonna tell you the ones we do, but I've mentioned it in the four. That is account layout done. Next, I'm going to be discussing and breaking down in detail all the types of content that you can post that is agency based. Thank you. America, fuck yeah. So lick my butt and suck on my balls, America, fuck yeah. Okay, now I'm going to discuss how we produce agency based TikToks that are videos and not just pictures. Everything that you will see before you is something that can be done at scale with the right mindset and the right systems in place. The video that I'm gonna show you now features one reaction video and one viral TikTok that has already gone viral and you know it has proven results. So it's already gonna captivate the audience straight away. Even if the girl isn't pretty or not engaging, the actual viral TikTok that she's reacting to is gonna get some sort of traction regardless. So I'm gonna play the video now and then discuss it. Impressive, if I must say so myself. Okay, so what you've seen here was a viral video and a reaction. The reaction video simply had captions added to it with a bit of background music. The background music was not from the main TikTok, it was added on. You can do these at scale if you have enough imagination to come up with reactions. What you're going to do is to replicate the strategy is find 10 viral videos on TikTok. Then you're gonna break it down and ask yourself, how would you react to this video if you were told to give a reaction and watch it? That is what you're gonna tell your creator to do. You are gonna give her 10 emotions and 10 reactions. These are gonna be different variations and then you can apply it to all the clips that you find. So you're taking viral strategy clips or viral clips that have already proven to get results and then you're adding a reaction video. The reaction video is going to be of your girl, and this is going to get a lot of traction. You can post this to Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, and you can have a fantastic time. This is agency-based method number one. Okay, right now we see method number two of agency-based TikToks. This is going to be yoga. We've been doing this for a solid year and a half. The model uploads content to a Google Drive. It is going to be simple yoga poses, you are going to then take those yoga poses and push them to TikTok. The music and the captions are up to you. You will see when I play this video that the music has no particular drop. The drop does not match the creator when she does a particular pose. It's not in sync at all. The caption can be anything you want. So it is fully agency based and it's only limited by your imagination and how well you can repurpose content. needs to be uploaded to a Google Drive as a plain video, no captions, no song behind it. And it's your job to make as many variations as possible. Once you start getting different variations, same poses, but different clothing, you can start to do montages. You can start to do competitions where you play one pose, then you play a second pose, you ask which one is better. This is going to get more engagement in the comments. 
and you're going to have more variations and more unique clips. It's limited by your imagination and your ability to repurpose content. Okay, now the third method is going to be Omegle. This is an agency-based method. All you need is 10 to 15 clips from your creator and you're good to go. What you will see before you is the bottom video is a video done by the person that is running the TikTok account. And he is making videos in response to pre-recorded videos he's gotten of celebrities and certain people that are famous in a particular niche. He has put Bella Thorne in the top video. It's a pre-recorded video of her reacting to something else, but he has carefully placed it in the Omegle box to make it look like she is reacting to his video. <laughs> The oh this video is 100% agency based. You just need 10 to 15 clips of your creator. And then it's up to you once again, with your imagination and your ability to repurpose, to find out ideas of what you can put into the top bracket video. Okay. This is the fourth method of agency based TikToks. And this method I'm going to show you is absolutely crucial when doing repurposed content. What you're going to do is when you set up a repurposed account that is only going to post repurposed content, the first two days of when I explain either before or after this in the video, how to get accounts up and running and when to cut them, when to know that an account is bad quality. This is one of the methods that we do to quickly find that out. Flash trends are fantastic for going viral. They're absolutely horrendous for getting subs. There is absolutely zero conversion on these videos when they go viral. However, getting an account to get viral videos, this is one of the best methods because it has such a high virality score. When we start the accounts, the first two days we're posting mainly flash trend videos. That is to get the account up and running. And once the account is up and running and we know it has potential to do well, we will start posting videos that are repurposed of the creator, and that will start getting subs in the door. So I'm going to play it right now. So what you've seen there is a phone pan in the room, and very quickly, it hovers over a picture. This picture can be naked of the girl. It can be her in lingerie. It can be her in... A sunny dress, it really doesn't matter. It just needs to be quick enough so that the guy has to rewatch the video and try pause it at the correct moment to be able to see it. What you're tricking TikTok to do is tell them that this video is viral because the person's watching it over and over to try and get that little snippet of the naked model on the phone. Okay, part two of the flash trend is going to be what you see here. This video can be uploaded to a Google Drive and it can be repurposed thousands and thousands of times. In the repurpose guide that's in my free Telegram group, I will tell you, if you do not have text on a video, there is so many possibilities of variations with regards to how many times you can pump out a video and what you can make of it. With this example, there's no text on the screen. So you can flip the video and you have another variation. You can zoom in, you can rotate it a little because it's not perfectly set up on a tripod. There's so many variations that you can do with repurpose in this content that it is truly limitless. The music does not match up. It's not in sync with the creator. There's no captions on the video, which means you could start generating your own captions that appeal to a particular niche and put these over the video as an overlay. There is so many possibilities with this flash trend that it is one of the best methods. And it's one of the things that we still use today. I ain't so no bears in a minute. I can't speak for none of the bros what they do to so there was a side boot, but it was not enough to get the video banned. Another thing that I want to say is the music does not need to match up with the video. So when you're trying to get a video to go viral and using this clip over and over, all you have to do is find songs that are currently trending. And that is going to push the video more. So the video, the base video of the girl that's uploaded to Google Drive, that has an unlimited lifespan. This isn't going to go out of trend. It's a girl flashing her boot. That is never going to go out of trend and it's never going to become out of fashion. That concludes TikTok agency-based traffic. Okay, the next agency-based method for TikTok is going to be the slideshow method. 
unless you have a 10 out of 10 model that has an incredible selling point, it is going to be very difficult to do slideshow methods with standard pictures. You're going to have to get very creative with captions and you're going to have to have a very good looking girl. What I suggest you do is pick something that has a high male percentage audience. That is going to involve supercars, trucks, guns, American sports, because you want to target the American audience. And the example you see here is Nike. All you have to do is find a color of what you're wanting to show and match it up to a picture that your girl has with the same color outfit. So I'm going to play the video and then talk about it. What you see here is the person has got black Nikes from Nike.com. You can get all these pictures from Nike.com super easily and matched it up with an outfit of the girl. Now, this is a fan page, but you can have these exact methods done on your own account and you can do them at scale. You could build out an entire Nike page of just slideshows with your girl and then the color of the shoe needs to match the color of her outfit. Another thing you can match is shoes and hair color. So this is an agency-based method. You can, if you have AI photo generation down, you can start replicating existing images and replacing outfits, replacing hair color, changing things to make it suit the content that you want to push out. But like I said, to do this at scale and to be successful at it, you should be picking audiences with a super high percentage of male users. So once again, that's going to be cars, supercars, trucks, guns, and American sports. Okay, next we're going to move on to outsourcing. There is two main methods you can outsource and scale quickly. One is going to cost you a lot of money up front. The second one, you are going to be able to scale cheaply, but it's going to be a bigger headache. The one you can scale cheaply, but it's a bigger headache, is you are going to hire a VA for $1.5 to $2 an hour. You are going to make sure before you hire them that they own an iPhone 8 or above. And when they have the iPhone, when you hire them, you're only paying them an hourly rate. You are going to get them to use their iPhone and post TikToks and Instagram because they have an iPhone, they may as well be doing both. TikTok, they're gonna have five accounts running and they're going to be doing five posts per account. So that's 25 posts per day. And Instagram, they're gonna be doing five reels per day, one per account. That is you outsourcing this and scaling incredibly cheap, but it's a massive headache. When you scale this to 15, 30, 45 VAs, because obviously some people will have a lot of models. It really depends on you and how big you want to go with this. This is going to become a massive headache to manage. So I encourage you, if you're going to do this method, to hire a VA that acts as a manager. And he is the point of contact between both parties. The manager talks to the VAs, the manager talks to you. He is the bridge that brings you two together. He is the one or she is the one that makes everything work. I do not encourage you to hire a lot of VAs and talk to each one separately because you're going to be repeating yourself daily and it's going to be a massive time consuming task each day for you. So hire a manager if you're going to do this method. This allows you to scale very quickly and very cheaply. But then again, if you don't do it correctly, it's going to be a big headache. Second, you can scale by buying iPhones and then having these iPhones be accessed through a PC or Mac and the user, the VA, is going to run the phone through the PC or the Mac. There's two different ways you can do this. It depends on what mobile you're using. If you're using an iPhone, it's going to be Visor and Team Viewer. If you're using an Android, it's going to be Let's View. So they access their PC, they can run their phone through the PC and they save the content in drafts. They edit the content, everything can be done on their side, and then it's up to you to post. You might have a personal assistant on hand and they do all the posting. This is the second way to scale your TikTok and Instagram operation. Next, we're going to move on to account success. For me, a standard rule is, if I do not get a video in the first day past a thousand views, I scrap the account. We do three to five posts on the account, 
If a video does well, we will stop the posting at three or four. If all the videos do poorly, we keep posting until we get that thousand view account, so we can end up posting five. If we don't get a thousand views in the first day, we cut that account. Day two, if we don't have a single video in day one or day two, netting a thousand, sorry, 10,000 views, we cut the account. The reason for this is TikTok is either a winner or a loser. Very rarely we start an account that does well, that doesn't do well in the long run. If it does poorly in the beginning, it usually does poorly in the long run. It's binary. It's either a winner or a loser for TikTok. For Instagram, it's a little bit different. Usually it takes some time. It really depends on your marketing funnels, how much traffic you're driving, etc. Instagram is a little different. TikTok is winner or loser. So it's day one, if we don't get a thousand views, cut it. Day two, if we don't have a single video in the past day one or day two, 10,000 views, we cut it. And that is account success. That is how we judge a successful account. If it does not hit those metrics, we scrap it, we log out of the account, we make a new account and carry on. We do not reset the iPhone. IP bans do not exist for TikTok in my opinion, at least it has never happened to me and anyone in my private group knows I have about 100 phones in my house at any given time. Next, we're going to talk about repurposing. Repurposing is a core part of the agency-based TikTok method. If you aren't doing the agency-based TikTok method to its full capacity, it is usually because you can't repurpose properly. I have posted a free guide in my Telegram group, my free Telegram group below, a free guide on how to repurpose properly. We have since updated that guide and it's in the private group now, but the guide that's featured in the free Telegram group, if you fiddle around with that a little, it still works. To maximize the results you get on TikTok, you need to learn how TikTok tracks metadata and how they track unique content. Because if you're going to pay a VA to do unique pieces of content for agency-based TikToks, but he can only make 30 TikToks a day in a shift, you are limited to 30 TikToks. However, if you have that VA making unique TikToks and you have a second VA repurposing those TikToks and being able to make them unique, you have now 4x, 5x, maybe even 10x, depending on how quick that VA is, on the output you can have with regards to how many videos you can post, which means you can scale a lot faster, and the more you scale, the more money that can come in. So two people can possibly 10x the results of one person, so keep that in mind. Lastly, I want to discuss about TikTok Lives. TikTok Lives, is the ultimate method for agency-based traffic. The only bottleneck that you will face is the fact that it's incredibly hard to source accounts. I'm not going to discuss how we build our own accounts and make sure they are in tune for the correct audience. But if you are still watching this video and you've stuck around and you think you are smart enough, TikTok lives are the best method for TikTok. You will get the most success out of it it is a big headache to monitor and to manage and to scale, but if you can crack it, well done. You are one of very few on this earth. That concludes the TikTok guide. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Boom! <laughs>